Hey guys, Underdog Jess here. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. Last episode we basically just did a bunch of like fun non-story based stuff like confidants. We went to play darts with Ryuji and all that kind of stuff. Now we basically just need to wait and prepare for the next target which is Junior Kaneshiro as we found out in the interrogation room. So, I guess, let's just hang out and wait. Now, should I call Kawakami or should I go to the gun guy? Uh, you know, Kawakami will be more useful in the long run, so... Oh. Of course, let's call her over. Hi. Hi, this is Becky. Oh wait, it's you. Well, it will be 5,000 yen with the request fee included, you know? Is that okay with you? Of course. I see. Very well. I will head over right away then. So, this is your room, huh? Yep. Hmm. How do I put this? It's not very good, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida... Well, come and sit next to me and you'll find out. ...and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? Yes. <laughs> I don't have any friends. I was really lonely. I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? Oh, yeah? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? I guess However, so. I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. In an exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. I can't promise Sounds that. Good? Uh... Thanks. Then it's a deal. I've made a deal with Kawakami. And we just got Yita back into the interrogation room. Where Sai can bitch us out for them not doing their job properly. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? Nothing. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast it shall bequeath the birth of the temperance persona. Yeah, we know all this. Slack off allows you to perform various activities in Kawakami's class. All right. Ugh, what am I doing here with one of my students? Well, I guess I should get going. Yep. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? Well, though, you can do all my laundry. I don't need any help. That's clearly not true. <laughs> Come on, we know each other's secret, and it would put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. How old are I'll you anyway? I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? Okay. It was nice to meet out you, Becky. Master! That'll be it for today. Ugh, God, you have no idea how exhausting this job is. Listen, promise me you won't tell the school about this, okay? For both our sakes. Absolutely no talking about maid stuff to anyone. It will be our retur- Oh, God. It'll be our retur secret, okay? Just for Becky and Master, okay? Can you keep a secret? Please stop talking like that. <laughs> uh, 
What? You're not even gonna play along. You're killing me here. Well, I'm gonna head home. Yeah, good idea. Before you lose any more of your dignity. Oh, and don't forget to study for your exams, okay? If you waste all your time playing around, your grades will suffer. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, we're at the TV station again. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Akechi Kun. Oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Oh, stop fangirling. And you, Ryuji, stop fangirling. Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Is it just me, or does Akechi actually look kind of sad? After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Oh my god, those girls in the background need to calm down. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Oh, really? Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. Oh my god, he's so funny, you guys! But, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are oh. they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. All right, put your bone away. Say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, no. First, Please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. Shut up, Yuji. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Oh All no, right. of course she goes Let's straight over to this Ren. Here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? That's a good question. What are my thoughts? Um, they're justice itself. You say that with such firmness. Yep. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that mm. case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Um... They only target criminals? I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, 
It could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. Akechi has such a soothing honest, voice. I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. Anyway, let's pause this for a second. Yeah, Akechi has such a soothing voice, so much so that <laughs> my alarm code is actually of Akechi. That's kind of sad, don't you think? It's basically just Akechi saying delicious pancakes over and over again for like 10 hours. <laughs> anyway, back into the game before people think I'm even weirder than I actually am. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? Maybe? We can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Okay. Oh, it's you. Hey. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Yeah, Don't just because you're famous doesn't mean I'm not you. going to. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Yeah. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Uh, they'd fight to the end. Oh? You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's alright with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Sure, Ketchy Coon, let's go hang out. I'd love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. It seems that Detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. And we're being heated into the t interrogation room again. Despite uh, twice in the space of like 15 minutes. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Ow. Explain yourself. I am thou. <laughs> thou art I. Ketchy's up holding our hand. A new vow, it's with the birth of the justice persona. All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. Sure. Let's go play darts or something. And registered. Well, bye, Catchy Coon. I'll miss you. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. No. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. I will. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? It I was a catchy. That high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Well, you really hate that guy, don't you, Ryuji? Mm. 
What a boring field trip. We didn't even find anything worthwhile. Oh, hey, Coffee Dad. Akechi pissing me off. Uh, discredit everything. And said on live TV. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Nice. Cool. Akechi said something wrong, but I feel he had a point. Why bring it up now? Is it okay doing this because people are criminals? Doesn't it seem selfish? We are phantom thieves, Anne. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamoshida as well. That's true. What do you think? Are we being selfish? We are kind of, but it's a necessary evil, I guess. This is tough. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt, I doubt we'll lose our way. You're right. Sorry for bringing it up. Don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting. We're gonna see who is right one day, Akechi. Uh, yeah, I agree. Let's stop that talking. Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Yeah, maybe. What now? God, I'm furious. You heard what Akechi said, right? How dare he say the Phantom Thieves are criminals? <sighs> okay. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Yeah, I anyway, I agree. He means the survey on the fan site, right? Oh. Let's call her. Hi. Oh, it's you. Shibuya is getting more dra dangerous. He yeah. You're really going to request me? I'll be heading over right now then. I'd appreciate it if you cleaned up a little first. That'll make my job easier for sure. But you're the maid, it's your job to clean. Um... I love cleaning shabby, I mean sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? I feel nothing. <laughs> oh no. Whoops. I see your heart must be made out of steel. Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I leave your room a bit messy, right? This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chic feel, you know? Now cleaning is complete. Ugh. Um, you're gonna get up? I need that. Don't make me drag you onto the floor. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today, I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, and speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? What kind of weird things? Uh, absolutely not. But I mean, you are lying on my bed like that, so... I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so... <sighs> I need a nap. So just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay you well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. You need money? 
Well, uh, you know, it's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I. No, yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh. Oh, wrong number. Sure. Hey, sorry to ask this out of the blue, but do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Wait, never mind. Owing one of my students money would be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. Uh, I requested you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high school scholar after all. And rank up. The dial Kamakami. Kawakami. Ugh. Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that a... Um... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> What? What's wrong? Little Becky's just working hard so she gets to see her master again. I, I vomited in my mouth. Ah, uh, sorry, part of the job. Okay, this is driving me insane so I'm just gonna drop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming. Um, well, I hope you request me again sometime. Bye bye. That new dialogue is making me throw up in my mouth. It's gross. <laughs> Akechi kun is right. They've always been fishy. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. Wow, thanks. I'm stood right here, bitch. <clears throat> that child is a phony. There's simply no way that the Phantom Thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're real and worse that this detective is amazing children are far too imp impressionable to see such vulgar content on tv <sighs> people still don't think we're real okay we'll show them don't worry morgana i can't believe we were on tv yesterday with a catchy coon it was like a dream come true okay I can't believe a high school moonlights as a detective. He's just like the detective prince. Also, there's Haru walking behind us. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Wow. Too cool. Stop fangirling. We had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch him. I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform. And without seeming like a snob, he's a natural at public speaking. I hear he is an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say I love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular, they're going to air it again tonight. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Apparently so. Also, calm down, Ryuji. Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. <sighs> Keep your voice down. Ow. You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, 
you really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give you do want stuff, yeah. Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Yeah. The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? Oh, she's onto my us. are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Stop lying. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help. By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. I gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? Wow, they really touched a nerve. You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Come on, Makoto. Don't be sad. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. Oh, hey, Yusuke. Or How are you doing? Negative one seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with What's all that stuff you have there? Whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions. But being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. Uh, Coffee Dad, let's go the way, take him down. What's up with that luggage? Yeah, oh, what is it with I that? I decided to leave the school dorms. They were not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> Nothing really doesn't have a grasp of how but teenagers I spent are. Everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? They're treating him like uh, he's just a stray dog. Just sleep on the floor here. You'll be fine. You're too weird that no one's gonna bother you anyway. Uh, Ryuji's place. Way too small. Plus, my mom had never agreed to it. Of course she wouldn't. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Yeah, Morgana. Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? No. Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. Yeah, that sounds amazing. All right, it's decided. 
sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Of course you do. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! What's a random yell for? Uh, what a nice smell. Hey, coffee dad, this we're just gonna have so an orgy upstairs. Hope that's okay. Can't say I hate it though. You can't join in though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really, he's been great. Yeah. Huh. You tell okay. him, Anne. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Of course. I don't mind helping. Wow, it's delicious. It's coffee. It's gross. Mm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. <laughs> That's how I react when I drink coffee. <laughs> Cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. <laughs> Thank you very oh, much. Oh, the Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Sochiro! Never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Sochiro, she's 16. Come on, you're like 50,000 oh, right. years Thank old. for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh, yeah. Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Thanks, Anne. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. Yeah, it's your fault we're in this we're mess, Eugene. We're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Nope. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Uh, what about the news? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. However... The suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. Oh, what the... Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. That was you stomach. you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So, how about that welcome party? Yeah. Someone's excited. Let's have a party, guys. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? 
That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. Of course. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? We'll finish it with udon. What? <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We sure. can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Good idea, Morgana. We'll throw you in the pot as well. Hey, Coffee Dad, I need to borrow something. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys I thought I'd be nice at us. Time was on, right? She's a nice girl. Uh What what do you mean? There isn't a girl. There's like there's Ryuji, there's Yusuke, and they're carrying a can of baked beans around for some reason. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's something to do with a new art project Yusuke is trying. Why do you say that? I just had a chat with her. She said oh. your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I, okay. Where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Sure. Thanks, Coffee Dad. Um, I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? Don't worry, we're responsible. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. We are. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard sure. and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Is this even what Sorry. she wants for her future though? Or is it what you want for her? No. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Yeah, you still have to figure that out, Makoto. Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. 
gonna have to borrow the sofa. Come on, guys. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. Oh, Yusuke. He's a starving artist, so when he gets a good meal, Jesus, he wants more. Me. It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know on? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. Oh, some backstory now. What was Lady An like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her. The quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Yeah. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> no, the thought was that. Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. So Beauty really, really cares school, about his mom a lot. Equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that yep. I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... No, no, Ven. You're a gentleman. You don't swear. You fell on your own. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna You're learn scumbag. what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. <sighs> That young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. This scene it's makes me says, angry, but at the same time I understand the position she's sure in you deal with in this so situation. It's mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I, d I don't know. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night. And I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? 
Yeah. Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it. This world is so messed up. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Nope. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. Oh, yeah? It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Of course you do, mm -hmm. Morgana. I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. Indeed. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Yeah, it's almost like they were all... I'm helping you guys out for my it was sake. fate that they all met, wrong. and they were you all supposed to meet each other. It's like part of, but a part of a bigger plan, I think. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. He's just trying all to show off. Aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Okay, Morgana. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be alright with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm, I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Okay. Well, good night, Morgana. Then afterwards, we can all spoon. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Ah, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. Okay, guys, we're gonna get nice and clean. Then afterwards, let's go back to my room and we can all spoon. Like, I'll be the big spoon and, we, and Yusuke can be in the middle. Okay, let's just carry on. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. Because old you know, people feel cold a lot more. Now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Uh, she's a great teammate. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. No, oh, please don't. Seriously? <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. Hmm. True. 
Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Yeah, show it, Yusuke. Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? Yes. I was an idiot for asking. You're an idiot on anyway. Duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm. Still... Freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? Come on! I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll uh I'll contact everyone. Lightweight. Only true men can stay in when it's really hot. Check out these picks. Not bad, right? The steam fogged up his glasses. Another of the many charms of eating hot pot, I suppose. Oh man, I still keep looking at this picture and Ren's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke is still at Ren's place, right? Don't go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course, I'd like to think I'm not that socially graceless. All I can ask is a all I can ask is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot. Let's look at this picture again. Oh, I can't zoom in. Look at the bros. That's such a cute picture. Too bad it will be deleted by the time I finish the game. Hey, Yusuke. Did something happen? Okay, can I not go and do anything? Let's turn in for the night. Nope, okay, can I work out at least? For real? Nope. Mm. Okay, so I can't do anything. Hey. If you sit there with them, where will I reply? It's my room, you hey. Well. You needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Just grilled fish and miso soup, okay. So that's the traditional Japanese breakfast. Huh, interesting. Oh, I'm in this place again. The Velvet Room. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master! Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society, and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. Yep. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Oh, that's so generous. You Thank you. May continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I feel like my bond with ego is going deeper. Super stock. Okay, I All can right. get ten personas now. It's almost time. What's almost time? Time to wake up. Oh. You're Sai San's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? What do you want to catch it? About the Phantom Thieves, Akechi Kun. You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common yep. sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. 
Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? Because he is enjoying it. Right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. He so actually the does. Thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Ouch. Looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Because you're a pushover. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. Oh, if I'm that's to quite obvious. People in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. That's a good idea. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. There we That's go. All. That's a real reason, I think. You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Yeah. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. That's understandable. I mean, he did I should look after you going. and do a lot for you, even though he did hey, steal your you artwork sure and everything. This? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Bye, Yusuke. I enjoyed spooning with you last night. Hey. You're finally awake. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the first thing you have to say to me. You guys sure do eat a lot. That reminds me, I haven't seen Yusuke around. Maybe he already went downstairs? You up? You know it's past noon. Yeah! That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off though, supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayori. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days, and this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Look at him, he's such a phony with those fake glasses. So annoyed. <laughs> Thank you for letting me stay. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but you're resting peaceful. Were you watching me sleep? 
After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dorm. Furthermore, I, I have entrusted the Sayori to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer ex exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. Yes, I still believe por porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Okay. Porridge is gross though. Hey, hey. So, Yusuke went home. Oh well, guess that's best. Who's calling us? I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. I saw it too, they target restaurants, right? I found a really interesting post. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means up at those burglars when he's talking about weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money too. Isn't that suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Things are about- Things are really starting to get serious. Let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go around- Go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way, the police are totally nabbers if we were out that late. Plus it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants? What if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? No way, who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? Seems like a viable plan. Um... That's a horrible idea. Yep. I mean, you get kicked out if we failed. Oh, I suppose I had left the Sayori there as well. I forgot. How do you forget something that important? Either way, I don't want any more beads to be posting as those in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we just have to wait. We can continue searching whenever possible though. Yeah, I'm gonna try looking too. Shouldn't you tell the others about that mementos target? Any changes? Let's see, who can I rank up? Oh yeah, I can get my lottery thing now too. Middle. Oh, man. Right. Oh, man. Okay. Come on. oh, I lost. What a surprise. Now, let's go see Anne. Anne, get her confidant up. Are you here to shop today too? I started training, you should totally help me out. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Big open places like this are great. I think my training is going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. Okay. How's that? I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get faced by it. That's still training. <laughs> We've already started, I won't let that hesitation shake me. I guess I should say something to Anne. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Uh. You're stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? Uh... That response was annoying. Uh-huh. What else? Uh, <laughs> uh, can we stop? You're giving up? That means I win. Huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? Oh well, on to round two. Yes. Bring it on. Listen to me. Yep, 
you know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona strong. You think? You finally get it. Hmm. Ah, something's not right. Sorry. I just got email an email from my agency. Make sure it is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then, when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been pretty hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for subs. Has that happened to you? Huh? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. It probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. So actually, my first modelling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country so I only really see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. Are you lonely? Uh -uh. I'm used to it by now. It was rough when I was little though, it was just me and our living caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark fast. Yeah. Honestly, when I'm modelling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamoshida first spotted me, and that's how our class starting the started those rumours. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute there. Oh, trust me, they can. That's why I need to get stronger. I sense a heightened motivation from being follow up, okay. Alright. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She loots to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She did always say, but she always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. I hope I'm getting a little closer, if only just a little bit. Okay, Bye. so you want to become a big tin of baked beans. <sighs> what do you want now? Hey, it's me. Thanks for coming today. So after we met up, I tried doing some walk runaway walks on the way home, like how a cool sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and run away walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? Do you think she thought I was cool? Uh... Was she a child model? Oh, I didn't even consider that. What if she's way more experienced than me? There are definitely child stars who are way ahead of adults. Maybe I should have been taking notes. Yes, I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get. Sh yeah, we don't really care what Anne has to say. Ah, you're back. Hey, Coffee Dad. How how has today been? Busy? I see all these customers in here. What do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what that guy said, just sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're talking about Akechi Kun, right? Ah, the high school detective. He would have to be shut up if we changed someone else's heart. Perhaps. Definitely. He did mention the police are starting to mobilise. Either way, we shouldn't leave him be. This is a perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at a hideout tomorrow. That darts place. What do you want to do? Yeah. Oh, hey. What are you gonna do today? No. One that many young people are are said to visit. 
Here one has the opportunity to view the fantasies of humans. We hear there are a variety of fantasies available for perusal there and all outside of a palace, how strange. These fantasies, they are the cognitions of others given form, they will undoubtedly support your efforts. Well, if you know where it is, then escort us out immediately. The what movie theatre. Okay. Not bad for an inmate. That was rather enjoyable. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams tell quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up. It's only because of that thing jumping out at my face. And you were just so scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and nose seemed to stretch right out at me. And it all began the moment I'd done those black glasses. Oh, so they watched a 3D movie. What were they for? A persona. 3D glasses. Oh, so there was some sort of trick to them. But well, your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is it that humans even create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fictional events? For the fun of it. What a naive notion. Humans are such simple minded creatures. Aren't you two human as well though? Perhaps humans immerse themselves in imaginary worlds as a means of escaping reality. That's also true. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a foolish endeavour is pointless for you. Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? What a pathetic fantasy. I bet you were even thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If he were to attempt such a blatant jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh, and how would you do it, Justine? I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster of some destructive image. Okay. Blowing open the door seems more impactful. It does. Explosions are a lot cooler. They used that plan in one of the movie previews, correct? They wielded a bazooka and went about blowing everything up. Any recaptured escapee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for an inmate and alarm. Suspense and excitement are necessary elements of any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline, or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? The inmate will settle this for us. Hey, tell us how you tried to escape. Would you blast the door or use a spoon? Blast it open. Ha, did you hear that? It's all about making the greatest impact. Very well, at this rate he can't escape us regardless of what he does. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasise a little bit every now and then. Indeed, today we learn more about the power of human imagination and wonder such vile palaces plague humanity. Don't fall you're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. That being said, here is your reward. Pray. Sigh. Now, oh. let us return. I believe that will be all for today. Let's go. Oh, you skater. Hi. Oh, hey, Akechi Kun. How are you? That's right, I guess Shujin was in this direction too. Still, I wouldn't have expected to run into you at this time. Perhaps it really is fate. How are you doing? 
I'm sleepy. Huh? Did you stay up too late? Are you alright? Uh, I do like that response. It's honest and keeps the conversation from dragging. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such questions. Mm. I suppose it is best to simply be yourself and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? Sure. We go play darts or something. Hey, I heard from one of my upperclassmen, but apparently there's some kind of weirdo in this town. What do I think about what? Uh, did we ever see someone like that? It just sounds like a rumor, so who knows how much of it you can believe. What do you think? I'm curious. Right. Yeah, if on the off chance he really is a bad guy, we should do something. We just have to check and check it out. Oh, and I've got another question thing. How tragic. Before I realised it, we're halfway through June. It's only a month... It's the only month of the year with no holidays, and it's filled with rain. Truly a season of hell. I'm exaggerating, you say. You're all just ignorant. After all, what's falling from the sky is acid rain that can melt metal. I'm a Miyaku, and let's test your knowledge and imagination. Give it a try. When washing your hair with dissolved copper, your hair changes colour. What colour do you think it turns? Green? This is it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's correct. By the way, magnesium turns your hair white and rust will turn your hair red. However, acid rain can't melt gold or silver. If you want to dye your hair gold, use bronze coins. Thinking you could save money by skipping a visit to the hair salon? It seems you still don't understand the horror of acid rain. Let's just skip this now. Too much dialogue. Oh good, you haven't gone home yet. No, what's up? Niji Misan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? Look at the drawing of the catchy on the blackboard. <laughs> Okay. She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Wait. She said that she's looking for that. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I don't want to. Just go. If you don't, they'll come and complain to me about it. Oh, fine. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. Got it? Yes, I know. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What could yeah. she want? Oh, uh, she's got dirt on us. It's kind of obvious. I wonder what she wants. She's totally got dirt on us. Hey, uh, Makoto. Earlier than expected. Yep. Have a seat. Thank you. You have snacks. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? Nothing. We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Um... Uh. Not sure what you mean. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? Um... 
I have a right to be silent. That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Not really. Go oh, ahead. I wonder who this is. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? Oh no. <laughs> meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. VUG! Idiot! You idiot, VUG! Loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. <sighs> well, this is bad. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji yep. Sakamoto, on to Kamaki, and you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Whoops. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicion? She's got a point, though. She's not stupid. What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals, after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. <sighs> she knows. I know. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, she's not stupid. That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Okay. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. It is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know. Yeah, but you're the one shouting I'm about so being a phantom thief. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. Mm-hmm. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yep. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah, so, but you are an idiot, Ryuji. If everyone wants to. Alright, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? Yep. What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? Oh, Makoto is a smart one, alright. I'm so pissed. Do we have to do what she says? Yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward to the end of this. So, if anyone wants to read it, then... There you go. Guy McVer. McVer, okay. There's sulfur leaking from the tank! We need to do something fast! It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See? The acid and the sugar are reacting. 
It's a story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and ingenu ingenuity. Yeah. He fixed the tank's crack with chocolate. How does he stay... What? Hey, hey. The protagonist knew just what to do, despite the crazy situation. Maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency. Hmm. Good job, me. And it's still raining. Hey! Yo, what's up? Going to school now? I'm just heading home. The morning sun is too. Have you been out drinking all night? What about your job? Nope. I pulled an all nighter. Journalist Ichiko oh it Whatever. Work hard. I will. Surprised I haven't unlocked uh Shinjuku yet. I was thinking you might not show. Well here I am. So whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. Mafia? What are you talking about? A mafia boss. That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. Yeah. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? <laughs> Give us the details. Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. We won't. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. And another interrogation. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Maybe. You seem upset. I'm not. Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. Mm hmm I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. Yep. What do you say, leader? Um... Let's prove our justice. Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. 
I'll check with them about it. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right. Let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. All right. Bye, guys. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Sure, what's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. Okay. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Ah, <sighs> the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. It does. It blends I'm in glad quite nicely. I'm to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Oh no, what's wrong? Calm down, you sky. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. Okay, if you guys made it this far, comment, um, Akechi loves his delicious pancakes. Anyway, back into it. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I'm trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. So are you aware that I'm attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. You're so tough on yourself. If you enjoy doing something, then don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. Just enjoy it. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I. It's okay. Do you need a hug? I will give you a hug. In my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. No, I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Mm -hmm. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is sure I never because asked. the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> the stuff you have to frank, figure out though, for yourself, Yusuke. I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'd be glad to help you. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. 
I must go now. My curfew approaches. Okay, you have a curfew. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I want you to go to the station. Did they kiss? Rain, huh? Yeah, I hate rain too, coffee lad. I checked online, people are talking about it all over. Now in my expert opinion, either of class 2D is guilty from our class. Start at the beginning, what's he guilty of? Supposedly spending money left and right. Said it's because of some great part-time job he got. I see, that will be worth looking into, right? Can you try asking about it? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. Okay, sure. I've rarely talked to him though. I'll be counting on you for backup. Leave it to me. Thanks. Wait, I'm hoping for some great things this time from Takamaki Sans World Class Wonderful Acting. I like thing is just... It's something else. This will get... I hope this will get us marginally closer to the so-called boss. Okay. We need to dig up some dirt first. Yep, yeah, but we will do that next episode, so... Yeah. The usual spiel about liking and subscribing and all that stuff. Um, then, um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>